Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Uh oh, yes it's another mirror. <laughs> I've still got loads left so there may still be loads more to come. But anyway, uh, I stuck these on last night because they're big and chunky and I wanted a base. So they've been, they've dried now overnight. I made these little beauties overnight. And to keep them all soft and movable, I just cover them in a wet tea towel. Hence the strange colour that they've now taken on. But they're all as if I've just moulded them lot. So that's another thing that you can do. If you've got loads to make and you don't want them to dry out, put something damp over the top of them. And like I said, I made these last night because I knew it was going to take so many flowers. And I thought there's no point you guys sitting. Hi. <laughs> I thought there was no point you guys sitting watching me just make flowers. So we can get straight down to the prettiness. I am going to get some wood and frame it out so it's even bigger. So everything's going to be stuck actually on the mirror. And then I'm going to put a frame round it afterwards, I think. I've got to go and get some wood though for that because I haven't got any. Alright, so I'll just pop you down. I don't know which is the best way to put you so that you can kind of see. I think, I don't think that's too bad is it? You can kind of see a bit of everything. Do you think? Or do you want to be closer to the mirror? Uh, we'll leave you there and see how you get on. You'll have to let me know. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like the positioning right maybe I can I've got to see how the flowers will behave and whether they're all going to slide down or not yet so me being un as unorganised as usual you'd have thought I'd have put these into some sort of order wouldn't you but no so it looks like we're just going to go for it You don't need as much um, glue because obviously it's sticking onto something non-porous so the more glue you put on the more it's just going to slip and slide about which it may do anyway who knows am I doing opposites opposite sides I think I am really aren't I right this one's taking on a different <laughs> colour because it's had other ones sat on top of it they're, still, they're fine they're lovely and soft still so a few people have asked me to do a big mirror so I thought I best oblige really I've got no rhyme or reason to where I put anything I just stick it on if I don't like it a bit later on then I move it and it's normally the more the merrier for me Make sure I list down below all the moulds I've used because I've used quite a few. And I'm just using the Gorilla Wood Glue, which I always use. If these do start to move slightly, then I'll have to tape them. I had to take the big ones last night but hopefully they'll behave and I've used one and a half packs of clay up to yet 
that there's no way that this will be enough but I just thought I'd make a load so that you're not just sat there watching because I bet, I bet this took me two hours easy to make all these last night I suppose really you won't need to frame it would you but I don't know what I'd use to put clips on the back to stick it on with I can hear music somewhere, someone's got some something playing. It might be the pub actually, but they don't normally have music on a on a Sunday. I think they had karaoke last night, that was quite funny to listen to while I was out here. Funny how we all like to think we can sing, don't we? I'm very, I'm key for that. When I've got the radio on or in the car, and everyone's like, "Oh, for God's sake, can we please just listen to the music?" I'm like, "No, I am the music." <laughs> and they're all there saying, "Yeah, but you can't sing." I'm like, "Yes, I can."
so you see once you've got a load of flowers made up it does come together really quickly it's just sitting making all the flowers up and if you can put like your bigger flowers on first and then you can cover them with all the the little pretty bits My little stash is soon going down. It's dwindling away quickly. So it just shows how much you need. Like I say, this is going to be a two pack mirror. Easy, I'd have thought. Now, I did keep the last one. So, am I going to sell this one? I think I will do. Because it's only me who likes them. Nobody else likes them in the air, so all I get is moaned at. So. I've never seen them go green before, I've got to admit, I've seen them go like the funny brown colour, but why they've gone green I'm not quite sure. It can only be what's in the, what's in the clay I think. Well, that made all air stand up on me. <laughs> no more broken mirrors, please. I think I've got enough bad luck now with all the other ones to last me till I'm dead. Have a rummage for what bigger flowers we've got left. That's that. That's that little pile about gone already, guys. It took me all them hours to do. They're the only two big ones I've got left. This angle don't half hurt my back. All I seem to be doing is moaning lately, isn't it? Pop on some roses, we've got quite a few of the roses.
this one's we've got a, an escapee. Obviously too much. Oh, the other one's done it as well, the other side. They will run off if you let them. Just keep checking for... Yeah, look, it's gone again now. I'll have to pop a bit of tape on that one, I think. Make them behave. Oh, we've got another escape artist. Oh, who's that just gone? He's left the party, has he? Early. It's just these sort. They're right pain, these ones are. I don't know why they just don't want to stay where they put. Oh, look how quick it bloody dries. intention was to paint these as I put them on and I haven't done again and I'm going to be moaning that I can't get to put them all on properly uh, put all the paint on properly uh, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing there then because as you know I ain't got the steadiest of hands have to uh, alter positions because we're getting too heavy lot everything's starting to to move and you can't tape everything because then I can't do anything uh, right, let's move these all down over here all right just bear with me guys a minute Oh, 
can we still see what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's just had to be lowered down a bit. Take some of the some of the weight off. If I wasn't filming it'd just be flat, so So now that the it's as such covered, I'm just going to be filling in everywhere now. It's just a case of building till you think enough's enough, sort of thing. The glue will scrape off, but obviously the more you can get off now, the less cleaning up you've got to do later on. The window scraper. little bits and bobs now. I need to just lay them all flat so I can see what I've got. I think I've made a lovely amount really. I think I, I couldn't have done it any better if I tried. I'm quite pleased with that. Don't 
don't think I'll have to make any more. I don't know. I'm just saying that. I don't like how I've got as much of the the big roses showing. I didn't want that much showing of them, so let's try and cover them in a bit more because I just wanted those as like my base, really. And it's rumbling, it's saying feed mate. And then I've got my chair saying no, I don't feed you no more. You've had enough. He's moaning under the pressure. Like I say, you don't need a lot of glue because it's not obviously a porous surface. So the more glue you put on, one, the more it's going to run, and uh, it'll take a lot longer to dry as well.
little delicate roses. These are just the parts of two leaves, but I quite like them. I think they look like a bit of a rustic butterfly as such. So I like to just add a couple of those as well. You might think they look nothing like, but I do. In a strange kind of way. So I'm just using there's plenty on now, I'm just it's just a case I'm using up what I've done. No point wasting them. But when I sat here for about two hours last night doing them all out anyway. Got a couple of, only two of these left. Uh, I might as well use them. Um, I've got lots of little bits now. Uh, Little dinky roses. And these you can just pop these anywhere. They just kind of blend in, don't they? There's the last couple of these as well. leaves might as well pop them on as well Right then, so, what do we think? Let's pick you up and show you.
so like I say these I made all last night and just to keep them all soft all I did was put a damp cloth over them now I've got to decide whether I'm going to make a frame to frame the outside or find a way of attaching hanging strips to the back and so but we've got to come back and do something with it I'll wait and see how it all dries I may add a couple more on because you know me more's more but we'll come back when it's dry and we'll show you okay guys see you shortly welcome back guys uh, we've left this overnight and it's all dried so we're going to add a little bit of paint sorry just watch the screen a second right. so we're going to give it a coat of paint and I'm just using some Velspar furniture paint that I've got left there's only a little bit but I thought it would be just enough to do this and then we're going to make a frame for it okay so I'll pop you down and we'll start this side first uh, the colour paint I'm using is a bridal veil it's just a really nice white and I don't know if any of you have tried this well spa furniture paint but it's really really nice really good and it's just going to be a case of dabbing so I shall dab all the big bits and then come back in and do all the awkward little bits. And I want to get as much coverage now because I don't fancy coming back and having to do all of it again. I am going to cover the bottom part of this, of the frame, of the mirror as well because it's having like a box frame around it so was on really quite runny but it dries dead dead flat it, well it does everything else that the chalk paint does if you sand it it'll go powdery like the chalk paint but it's not thick at all because that's what I don't like about chalk paint the fact that it's that thick and I mean I know obviously that's the idea of it but I don't like it I think that's why I lean more to the the other paints but this really is nice like I say it's it's quite watery it's just like your um, your standard paints as such but it flat it dries completely well dead 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 flat matte it says and it does do there's no there's no shine to it at all And Eleanor's been very naughty again, aren't you, Eleanor? Hey, she thinks just because I've got me back to her, 
I don't know what she's doing, but she's taking to licking her legs again. Aren't you? Hey, it'd be naughty. I want to be getting out the balloon again soon if she don't stop it. The vet did say that it'll it's habit forming as well. So she may start doing it again. And every time you look away from her, you can hear her. The vet did say that it'll it's habit forming as well. So she may start doing it again. And every time you look away from her, you can hear her. So I am keeping a closer eye on it this time because obviously I don't fancy the vet bill again. Um, but if she starts to mark her legs again like last time, she'll be having a, a ring of shame on. Mind you saying that, I don't think that was any deterrent for her either because in, and that, when we took it off, she picked it up and started carrying it bloody round with her. I mean, what dog would do that? So, maybe seeing her sulking again soon. If you don't start behaving herself. But it's funny because she was she was on one yesterday, and every time I looked up, she was on a on a foot. Well, she's not foot wish foot now, but she was on her feet, and uh, so she turned a whole body round to me. So she was facing the wall as if like, you know, because she couldn't see me, I wouldn't know what she was doing. I thought that was hilarious. Just shows how crafty they can be, don't it? Mm. And they wanting to get up to something that they shouldn't be doing. But I don't know why. I think it, it can only be the fact that she's it's like a habit because I'm still using the shampoo on her. I bought a big bottle. Because she's low to the ground, and the belly about drags on the ground, uh, she's probably prone to pick things up anyway. And I didn't want to pick up any, any more nasties. So I keep using that shampoo anyway. Can you still see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm messing with all the little detail bits now. I'm going to just pick these uh, brushes up from the range. They're down in the art section, arts and crafts section. And I've got lots of different sizes for things like this because I know paint's easy enough to get off glass but when it's all in between little gaps so oh, it drives you mad you're here for ages Good morning back guys, right, welcome back, I've, uh, it's actually been about a week, <laughs> but never mind, you don't know that with the form of editing and camera in. but it's had a few coats of paint and I've scraped all the glass, well as much as I was prepared to do that night because I was a bit... I've got quite a lot everywhere. So now we're going to put it on its back, on a back, on its back, on a backer. And uh, my son wanted to have a go with the with all my tools, so he's made the frame for me. 
I'm praying it fits right because we had to do it a few times. <laughs> but it's no different to when I do it. We all have to learn, don't we? So, uh, I'll pop you there. What I'm going to do is stick it to the back with Gorilla Wood glue. So, stay, don't move anywhere. I think that's enough. Hopefully. Do we think? Yeah, it will be, won't it, won't you? Squish it down. So, then, we're going to squish it down. But, all my wood's the same thickness, so, just make sure it's even everywhere make this to fit so yeah so obviously that's gonna take a while isn't it but we can still do everything else can't we I think so, like I say, these are the sides. I've gone for like a, a built-up kind of look for a change instead of doing it like that. So we're going to apply the pieces one by one. Put it all right so it should all sit on nicely. When it's caught a little bit more onto the frame. I shall uh, staple it as well. On the best sides. Anyway, I thought I'd recut that to make that a bit longer. Um, 
Do you think I ought to do that? Because it's sticking out. It's not quite meeting, is it? And that was like, this is like the finished. Because I'd stained it. Yeah, I didn't talk to be lazy, did I? Let's take that off. Right, I will cut another one for that. I told you I didn't check. I don't pretend that I have and then all of a sudden it's all perfect. If I say I've not checked, <laughs> I haven't. Yeah, but minus the, uh, the side that's missing, it's definitely different, isn't it? What do we think? And I will be selling it, so it's got to look right really, hasn't it? If it was for me, I'd have perhaps left it. So I'm going to cut another one and stain it, and then we'll be back because it'll give it a chance to harden off, hopefully. And then we'll be able to decorate the flowers a little bit. All right, guys? So see you again shortly. Right then, I think we've left it. I've left it quite a few hours. I re-chopped that side so it fit better and re-stained it. And re-glued it so I think that looks a lot better. So, so that's what it looks like. I think it's a bit different to the last one, isn't it? It's quite a lot different, I think. So, we're just going to highlight the flowers. So, I thought... Uh, oh, I don't where could we put you? If we put you like that, you can see me doing over there and then we'll have to move you, won't we? And I'm going to use the uh, Mother of Pearl in the Artiste acrylic paint. Because a few people have commented on how nice it looks. And all I do is I, I squeeze it, put it a bit on my finger and then just rub it round the flowers. Just to highlight it. Try not to put too much on your finger. I know it's a bit of a Tyson boring job sort of thing. But if you put too much on, like up there, it, it like goes in the, the edges a bit too much. And Well, I mean, unless that's what you want. I like it just to highlight the the tops as such god look at state of me here i've been gardening i've just said to the other i, I says the amount of time we've been out here again gardening the last few days just got the hedge to cut now but i mean you'll see the amount of crap i've took out and i've took up to the farmer's bit because he burns it all later on when it's dried out so it saves my bin and it's on un it's unreal I'm after one of those um, those cool cutters. You know them cutters that you can just stand on the floor and they're on a tele telescopic thing to cut your hedge with. Because I can't reach the top. I do all the sides and the front and everything. But I can't reach the top. So I have to get the former man to do it for me. So I'm after one of them, but they aren't cheap, are they? The petrol judies. When you're saying that, I'm bad enough with what I, I use now with edge cutters. I'm surprised I've not. Well, I did once, I fell at a previous house. I'd taped it up so I couldn't hold because obviously they're a two hand trigger thing. And I couldn't reach like the back of the hedge I was doing. So I thought, ah, I'll tape it down. My God, don't ever do that. I lent, so I'm cutting like this. And like my ladder moved, so I went like that and grabbed the blade. Yeah, I took, oh, well, I didn't, obviously I didn't take the tops of my fingers off, but 
I do like to dramatise it. But my oh, it will bleed and everything. It like cut. I can't remember which. What's this one? And it like cut all down here. So I'd like got it parted. Oh God, I'm about thrown up. I don't do very well with blood. So they all found that quite funny because I had gone like lily white and I'm passing out on the floor from the blood. So yeah, don't ever do that. Take it from me. <laughs> I'm covered in midget bites now as well because we was out here last night doing in garden and stuff so they like drive you by me don't they I've got Eleanor here jumping up at me thinking I'm talking to her <laughs> hey Eleanor hey oh I'm going to sneeze <laughs> No? No. Right, let's move you to this side. So yeah, I look a, a sweaty mess again. Yeah, I'll have put far too much on there, will not there, that looks. If I do do that, I tend to come back in with, um, oh, I've got a cloth. I won't say either with a damp cloth and just take some off. Or a bit of white paint to forget about it and have to do it later.
I'm sorry. I'm not seeing anything again, are you now? I'm over here again. Sorry about that. But that is about it. So what do we think? That's it. There's a close up. Oh, I've got a bit of paint there still to get off that glass lot. Don't get me two little butterflies. And that's the overall look. What do we think? Well, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, and I'll wait to answer your comments in the below. Until the next one, take care, guys. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.